Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah, Gudash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught us the truth. And salutations to your legs scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, we back here again, the men of Great Millstone, Lord willing. To edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Through the Holy Spirit, Rekak As we're on our way to camp, you know, me and the brother Kasad You know, through the Spirit, just gonna go with the, go with the Spirit You know, um, the topic we want to talk about is, is famine And famine is already here Alright, famine is already here Matter of fact, real fast, bro Just define the word famine In the, in the regular common dictionary, Google it or wherever you want to pull it from But it's already here all right, and that among many other things, such as like you mentioned, the monkeypox, which is a new pestilence. Yeah, there's a whole bear laid out, laid out dead on the street. Yeah. A bear, a black bear, gone. Yeah. But um, Salakia, but um, monkeypox, and that's what's coming, death. You know, that's the spirit. You know, you had a, a the animal laid out dead on the street, but that's what's coming. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Jake. Israelites, people in general, the wicked laid out dead because of what's coming on the earth, as far as well as pe uh, pestilence, as well as um, famine. So, just read the definition real fast. Right. Famine, definition, extreme scarcity of food. Right, extreme scarcity of food. Just turn on the news. What are they saying? Extreme that there's going to be extreme scarcity of food. They're saying that there is an extreme scarcity of food. All right, global shortages, global food shortages, uh, baby, uh, baby formula shortages, and we already know through the spirit that um, Esau is behind all of it. Really, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is behind Esau, but he's using Esau, the, the the devil, all right, to engineer this thing. All right, now I was on, I was telling you, I was on um, an offer up on you know these local buy and sell applications, a damn baby formula Similac. It's going for $150, $130. And these are people price gouging. The the black market prices is and, and just taking advantage. Well, they capitalize it. Esau does it, right? Esau capitalizes on everything. And that's what these people are doing. They get it from their, their father, the devil. But anyway, it says um, scarcity of, read again. It says famine, extreme scarcity of food. It says a shortage and an archaic hunger. Right. So a shortage. All right. A shortage of food and hunger. Okay. Hunger. Hunger is coming. And Lord willing, we're going to get a couple scriptures. But before you do, get on. Read that article. It's from uh, the telegraph.co. It says Bank of England warns of apocalyptic global food shortage. Uh huh. This is the governor of the Bank of England has warned of apocalyptic global food price rises and said he is helpless in the face of surging inflation as the economy is battered by the war in Ukraine. Hey, you see? And we understand that the whole reason behind the Ukraine crisis, so-called, and Russia and all that, it's for them, as Babylon always been doing, to pin the blame on somebody else. That's all that was about. That's all it's about. So when it was, so when we got this, because they're saying what Ukraine is the bread basket of the world. I mean, I didn't hear that until this whole crisis broke out. Did you know that? No. I, I ain't never hear that until this whole crisis break down. So that's what they telling people. You know that Ukraine is the whole bread basket of this world, whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be. But that's the that's the the vibration that they're pushing out there. Is that because of what's happening Is because of the, the war between Ukraine So this particular um, Bank of England Is warning people Alright, they're people that Prepare for apocalyptic Type food shortages You know, India They banning their export on wheat Because they're gonna They're gonna cater to their own people Their own countrymen, citizens or whatever To provide food because That's how bad it's gonna get and this is all because of this one global world agenda that's about to unfold, man. 
All right? And if you want to chime in, my brother, be my guest. But if not, um, go to Second Ezra's. Yeah. Second Ezra's. Chapter 16. And speak up, because you don't mean to call and stuff. Second Ezra's chapter 16, verse 18. It says, the beginning of sorrows. Read up some. Read up a couple verses up. Second Ezra's chapter 16. Start at verse 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Yep. And Ezra saying, woe is me, woe is me, because he's actually seeing what's going to happen in the near future. All right? And Ezra saying, woe is me, woe is me. Woe means what? Death. And he's saying that because of the distress that's about to come down. And... The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Shah for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, for the Holy Spirit to understand that this is the time of deliverance. Death and destruction, but deliverance for the elect. If not, then we'll be saying, Woe is me, woe is me. De death, death is me. How the hell am I going to escape this? That's coming. Ezra's here again today. You know, more than likely through the Spirit in the reincarnation, if he's here, or if he was one of the men that that that, that was that already passed, or whatever the case may be, but Ezra's going to be delivering that time. All right, as well as those men that, that put their trust and hope in your help, Bashmi Al Shah. So go ahead. It says, The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Uh huh. The beginning of famine and great death. Yeah. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. Right, now we're at the beginning. It said the beginning of this, the beginning of that. The beginning of famine and great sorrows and death. We're at the beginning of famine. Okay, shortages, and, and it just so happened that it unfolded via the so-called white man, you saw Edom, engineering it. But we're here, though. All right, we're here. And on top of that, inflation, prices going up, and then the, 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 the middle class is, is being diminished daily. So now you're just going to have the poor and then the rich. Okay, so uh, inflation on top of shortages, Shit, today is what? And they're they talking about um, the summer prepared for blackouts. But here it is. Today is Saturday on, what, the 21st? It's about to be 90 degrees out here in New York. Yep. So imagine when all the, you know, the power is out for X amount of time. 90 degrees, heat waves. It's going to get extremely uncomfortable. And then you got baby formula shortages, so-called. Babies crying because they're hot and hungry. Women don't know how to cook. All right, they single. I mean, we could go on and on and on, and you know, but it's gonna get real bad. Put yourself in in, in that scenario, and you will see. It. Okay. Yeah. yeah. First Thessalonians. Yeah, you break it down. Chapter five, verse one. It says, "But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, mm -hmm. for yourselves know perfectly." That the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you got these, these uh, people out here. They thought because the pandemic was coming to an end that things were going to go back to normal. There's, you know, it's going to be business as usual. All right, and that shows you how these people are very stupid. All right, they're very ignorant. They don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, they're very they're very simple minded, man. The scriptures tell you, the simple believe for every word, man. Okay, you know, but like it says right here, the Lord's gonna come as a thief in the night. So, you know, this has to happen. People don't know what's going on because yes. it's, the, it's the prophecy. The Lord is gonna catch them off guard as a thief in the night. Yeah. All right, but the elect, the, the brothers. All right. We expect these things to happen, man. So it, it, everything that we see in the news, it's not a surprise to us because, you know, we, 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 we serve the Lord. We, we, we all believe in these prophecies. We, we watch the news. We, we pray to the Lord to hasten these prophecies. So now that these things are happening, it's, it's not a surprise to us, and, and, it's, and it's, it's making us rejoice, you know. Although we have to go through it, you know, but we know that the Lord ultimately, just like the Lord take care of us now, it's gonna be no different when, when when Jacob's trouble begins. All hell breaks loose. Right. You know. That's right. That's right, bro. You know, we hey, scriptures talk about um, uh, 
all about no no affliction seemeth joyous in the present moment. But we know that affliction is gonna is gonna is gonna is gonna amount to our glory at the end of the day. So hey, this gotta happen. I mean, you you can't we can't want the kingdom like like it tells you that in the apocrypha. Get that one, brother. In the apocrypha, um, is it uh Second Ezra seven Fourth about chapter. about the narrow path, one fire on one side. Yes, yeah, seven. Seven, yeah, yeah. You could get that because we gotta go. Through, we all gotta go through it, man. And this is all gonna be a test of our faith at the end of the day because uh, it tells you that in um, Revelation that the Lord is gonna try all of them that dwell upon the earth. But because the elect is going to keep the hour, I mean, excuse me, keep the patience of the Lord's, you know, works, the Lord is going to deliver them from the hour of temptation, which is going to come upon the whole world. So, you know, brothers are being tried already, on, on been being tried, but even now more so, brothers financially, spiritually, mentally, dealing with battling demons, dealing with people, we're all being tried because the Lord, and we know why we're being tried, so... When that time come, brothers are going to pass with flying colors. You know, Lord willing, we those men. So, yeah, bro. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 1. And when I had made an end of speaking these words, there was sent unto me the angel which had been sent unto me the nights before. And he said unto me, Up Ezra, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I said, speak on my power. And then he said unto me, the sea is set in a wide place that it might be deep and great. But the case, but put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Mm -hmm. Narrow. Hey, like the scripture say in Matthew 7, and to and at the straight gate. All right. The straight, narrow is the way that leadeth to life, but wide is the, is the way that leadeth unto, unto death. So this straight meaning a, a position of difficulty, okay? And like the Lord, and when you read Job, the first chapter, the Lord commanded Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, to go and try Job, test Job out. And so did Satan do, and he tried him. But Job was, he was um, prosperous at the end, so to speak, man. He overcame. And we're like Job's too. We're like, we're like you know, mini Job's, so to speak, man. Go through the trials, the tribulation, the hell. And the hell and tribulation and troubles that is coming. Because things are going to get turned up. This is, the, this is not called the year turn for no reason. The apostles, the apostles, spiritual men. The Lord is dealing with them men. All right? The Lord put in what in their minds on what to say and how to do as well as all of us. But the year turn up is going to turn up on all levels. Good as well as the bad. You know? For uh, water shortages. Uh, food, bread shortages. Yo, brothers, watch, man. Keep, hey, watch as well as pray like the scriptures say, but just keep watching. Things ain't getting better. Here it is. We driving, brother, looking at gas, 479. Where, you know where we at. That's around, that's about average. And that's regular. If you're a premium driver, you're already paying damn near $5. So eventually it's going to come a cutoff point where people are going to lose it. They're not going to, they're going to say, fuck work. They're going to strike. And then things are going to get even more intensifying. So then they're going to, they gonna go out there and write, like that video, that TikTok video with the um, the gook, the gook chick, with the baby formula had like twenty baby formulas inside the um shopping cart, and then the other lady recording it, which I don't think she was a customer, because if she was, they would have been scrapping for that baby formula. She probably worked there, but real soon people gonna get hit over their head for food, man. Beat over their head, or if not, they gonna be in the park, people in the parking lot waiting, and watch who got the most bags and mug them. Okay. It says. It says, but put uh, second verse seven verse four. But put the case. The entrance were narrow, and like a river. Who then could go into the sea? To look upon it and to rule it. If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? Yeah. There is also another thing. The city is builded. And set upon a broad field and full of all good things, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water, and only and, and one only path between them. 
both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there go there at once. Yup, you good. Okay. You good. Oh, okay. Read that again, the, the last part. Cause yeah. that's that's the that's the um the point of the parable is that you have fire on one side and fire on the next. I mean shoot, water on one side, fire on the next, which represents what? The affliction, the adversity. And between that path you have the city, which is the kingdom of heaven. So in order in order for us to get to the kingdom of heaven, fire and the water, we gotta pass that, which represents the calamity, the destruction, the prophecies happening. So we see that city. We right there on that path and we see the dangers on both sides. That's the difference. We see the dangers. These people they don't see the danger. They head is so high up in their eyes that they can't see the dangers, but we see the dangers. And we walk in that narrow path. And making sure we stay on path, and this is a path where there's no there's no option to turn around. That's how narrow it is. A picture yourself trying to walk a narrow path and then just do a 180. You end up falling off. You will fall off course. That's why the Lord said that no man put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom. Okay? Because once you start plowing, you gotta go that you gotta keep going straight. Keep going straight, and don't put your hand and look back. You know? Living in that time where all, all games is about to come to an end, where playtime is about to be over, you know. You know these women, you know, they um they got that proud spirit, you know, that, in, that independent woman, feminist spirit, you know. But here it is, the Lord is bringing hell upon you with the baby formula shortage, all right, and, 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 and all the things that's coming, man. Then you got you know certain guys that's supposed to be in the truth, teaching these bug out doctrines, you know. You know, uh, exalting men that, that are going off, saying that, you know, these guys are, uh, you know, uh, prophets you know, such as Elijah, you know, when it, you know, when it, when you're not, you know. But the, the Lord is, all, all of that doesn't even matter when it comes to salvation, man. You know, so the most high is, is bringing all these, the, these games to an end. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Real soon, real soon people are going to realize that, man. Go to, um, to the second edge of the 15th chapter now. Oh, yeah, go ahead then, go ahead. Right. Um, second Ezra 16 and verse 18. It says, The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. Beginning of wars. The Lord said that that was going to happen. There's going to be wars and rumors of wars, but be not, be not trouble. For the end is not yet. So the end ain't yet. And when the Lord said the end, yeah, he's talking about the absolute end, his return. Because what got to happen before um, Yahweh shall return? The ma mass implementation of the MO to the T busy. All right? The the, the C Ragma, the 3 6 Mafia, the Revelation 13 16 on them. That got to be made mandatory. And that's going to separate the, you know, the real from the fake. And I was like, I was watching Apostle um, Ryan Lau's video earlier today. You know, he made a statement. You know, when he was talking about hunger. I believe he was talking about hunger, but he pretty much he said that, yeah, he said hunger is a, is one of the greatest motivators, you know? So when people start starving out here, the same people that said they wasn't going to take, shoot the J, and they wasn't going to comply, they, they woke and they ride or die. Listen, man, once they start getting hungry, they're going to start singing a different song, all right? But Yahweh Bashim Yashai knows how to deliver the godly from temptation. So brothers ain't gonna have to worry about that. Like like it tells you that in Isaiah, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. The servants are gonna sing for joy, but ye shall mourn and weep. Roughly paraphrasing. How are we gonna eat? We, we don't know. We're gonna find out when that time comes. We're gonna find out. You know, it's not up to us to figure out, damn, I wonder how the Lord, but we're gonna see. We hope he feeds us and, and it provides for us. And the scripture says, Lord is not a man that, that he shall lie. So you hold up your end of the deal, so to speak. Lord will do his. So we don't got to worry about that, man. Let it happen. Let it come. Let, let these people out here starve to death. Let, let the Lord crumble these people's pride, man. Go ahead, bro. It says, 16, 16 and 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Yup, scourges for amendment. That's how the Lord is gonna plead with the unjust. All right, by famine. So really and truly, man, we can't, I don't feel sorry for these people. We can't feel sorry for these people. All right, when people, when, when, when ribs is touching, if, you know, people that, you know, once scoffed at this calling you or texting you and 
complaining about how little John John can't eat, then you can't you can't feel sorry for them. <laughs> you really can't feel sorry for them, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're entering into that time where it's gonna be like every man for himself. You know? Yeah, bro. Yep. Uh, it says. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Yep. Nor be always mindful of the scourges. See, from all these, see, you know, with all these things happening, even with all that's happening now, the famine, the pestilence, the plagues, the, and how it's going to intensify. Two thirds, Jake, Jake still ain't gonna turn from their wickedness. They're not gonna be mindful. We, we, Lord willing, be on our way out there right now. We gonna prophesy. Jake still ain't gonna be mindful. Nope. You know, they still not gonna be mindful. So. Rightfully so when judgment unfolds on the ass, man. Yeah, we was at our uh, camp last Saturday. Mm -hmm. and some Jake came up. He said, you know, he said, he said, I ain't see y'all niggas in a minute. Damn. That's exactly <laughs> how he said it. You know? These niggas, boy. Yeah. yeah, we just laughed them off, you know. Where the hell you been at, nigga? Exactly. Talking about we ain't see us in a minute. But that's, but that's how they look at us. They don't they don't look at us as the prophet to the Lord. Right, we just regular common people yeah. that just go out there and just talk. Yeah. You know, like like scripture say that uh, way that what um that we are like unto them is a lovely song. Right. You know, shit, they, they, them guys go. You know, nigga walk by five, couple of minutes smoking a cigarette just to hear some some fancy shit, or hear what we gotta say, and then walk about his business, not mindful of nothing. So when the Lord start killing these people out here, they still not gonna be mindful. They're not gonna turn to your about shimmy out shot. A body boy is still gonna be a damn sodomite. You know, a, a adulterer is still gonna be a adulterer. They're not gonna think about it. And stop, maybe maybe I'm doing something wicked. They're not going to be mindful. Yeah, 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 you got it. Uh, and break it down. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 12. It says, they shall, Matthew I start 11. Uh, Isaiah 32, 11. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. And this is going to happen uh, in the times that's coming. Okay, these women are gonna tremble, and they are right now because right now they're at ease, man. All right, they, you know, they and they in cahoots with, with the serpent, which is who the so-called white man. All right, they're getting all these uh, goodies, such as what uh, child support, alimony for getting the, divorcing their husband. All right, you know, uh, Section Eight food stamps. Okay, so forth and so on, man. All right, but the time is gonna come. You know, because you know they, people are still getting their food stamps, but once they take that away, you know that's when. <laughs> I think you'll see Jake come out the, the uh, you know, come out the walls, you know, the, like roaches, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna go, they're gonna go crazy. Yep. You know. Hey, but even if they still get food stamps, though, bro, is food stamps adjusting to inflation? No. So what, what does it matter, right? Exactly. Because they can still get a little three hundred dollars a week or whatever the hell they getting, two hundred dollars a week. But if everything is going up, then that two hundred dollars ain't two hundred dollars no more. That's like now it's like fifty dollars a week, adjusting to inflation or whatever. So, yeah, you know, rise up, you woman, that are these. You got it. It says verse twelve: They shall lament for the teats, mm -hmm. for the for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Right now, teats. When you look it up, it, it says breast, mm -hmm. breast of an animal, or udder like a cow got uh, the udders, where you drink, where you get the milk from, goat milk, whatever. So that represents what? The food, the food supply. All right, the fruitful vine, the vegetation, the fruit. That's how, see, vegetables, the fruits, the vegetation, that's how even livestock, that's how they're able to survive. Because they got to eat that. Now, when that's gone, how the hell are they going to eat? So what's going to happen? What's going to have to happen? They're going to have to get slaughtered. And they're going to have to get used for that meat before they die and go bad. You know? You, what they call it uh, Euthanizing I believe When they had to kill animals For uh, X amount of reason Which they had to do With the So called chickens Or so called What do you call that shit um, Avian flu Bird flu yeah. They had to Kill some chickens Five something million Five point something million yeah. And then what's that Going to lead to Egg shortages And what egg shortage Going to lead to Everything else shortages Chain reaction Chain reaction You, you, you know Bread Mayo Whatever the hell got eggs in it. And like you said, chain of reaction. So everything affects to something. Uh, what they call it? Um, ecosystem. But like our ecosystem. Everything affects another thing. Chain of reaction. Got it. Yeah, that was on that. Jump back to yeah. verse 20. This is 2nd uh, verse 16, verse 21. 
Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. But e it says, and even then. Right, hold on. Victuals is food. Right. The goods, the foods. It's going to be so cheap upon earth. And that's been, that's been, that's been like that for a long time in Babylon. But now it's about to change. Victuals ain't going to be cheap anymore. So victuals being so cheap upon earth that people think everything is all good. Because as long as food is affordable, then everything is all good. No matter what's going on, right? As long as a nigga can eat or people can eat, then there's no problem in the world. Just like you saw this, the, 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 the restaurants, the food that you saw get these people, it's a distraction. Even food is a distraction. That's why when brothers, when we go on fast, you notice that you're more in the spirit. You know, you know, you're locked in the spirit. You see what's going on. Even when you discipline yourself from eating, you're more alert. Food, food is not people eat for for what do you call it? Um, pleasure. comfort and pleasure. There you go. You know, they eat for pleasure. When you get bored, you just go and nah, I'm hungry. I want to eat. It's a distraction. Food eating, the way this society teaches us to eat is a distraction. So people are being distracted because the victuals are still good, cheap upon the earth. They think themselves to be in good case, but go ahead. Right, it says, and even then shall evils grow upon earth. Even then shall evils grow upon earth. Evils are growing upon this earth, and we, we see it. That's why we, we watch, we're watchmen, we go look up, we look up things. Even though it's not in the news and Esau ain't pushing it, we go and see what's going on in the world today. You know? So we see that the evils are going on, but these people, they don't. So get it? It says, sword, famine, and great confusion. Right, sword, famine, and great confusion. Famine, that's, that's, the, that's the topic. That's, that's the hot topic. All of that is being increased. Um, I believe it's Sri Lanka. All right, over there in the... Um, in the Eastern Hemisphere part of the world, they're they're riding because of I believe because they defaulted on debt, so they they they're in the negatives. All right, people are actually riding because of food. <coughs> There's not enough food, so they're actually fighting, riding, killing each other. But you ain't gonna hear that in the news over here in Babylon. You may see a little news line here and there, but they're not gonna go deep into it because then the average person may think, man, what if this happened here? It is going to happen here. Go ahead. Right. Um, it says, For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Right. And that's it. So many people are going to die because of this food hunger that's coming, this food crisis. You know? And that's how the Lord got it. That's how the Lord set it up, that these people, they're going to die because of that, man. Famine has always been one of the Lord's tools in his arsenal. For when Jake went off, when Jake started becoming rebellious and hard-headed, he always sent the famine. You know, and America, this modern-day Babylon, this modern-day captivity is no different. And this time is going to be worse. That's why Daniel, the, the not Daniel, so yeah, Daniel, the 12th chapter, um, Michael, the archangel, will have to stand up because it's going to get that bad. You know. So, if you got anything else, you you know, bring it out. Uh, now yeah. we go. It's gonna make it too long, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring out another precept. Since you mentioned Jake, this is Isaiah chapter wow. 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. And that's the Lord's people, the Israelites. Okay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you go down to Egypt for help. The modern-day modern -day Egyptians is who? These, these so-called white people, these so-called Caucasians, which are the, 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 the tribe of Edom. Okay, you know, you, you look to uh, the government for um, aid, man, for help. Okay, so when all hell breaks loose, you go, you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, like, like, um, you know. You're gonna all assemble online, you know, food um, food rationing lines, you know, uh, microchip lines, you know, when, when, when that time comes, man, like, like 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 zombies, man, you know. But you're not gonna trust the how about Shimei was shot. And if, if the Lord, the Lord, the Lord knows all of those that are phony, man, because you got a lot of jakes, like scriptures say, um, they, with their mouth they do honor me, but their heart is far from me. You know, just because you might acknowledge what we saying. And, and you might agree with it. That doesn't mean that that the Lord is with you, man. That doesn't mean that 
that um that you're in the truth. Okay, that, that you're gonna be saved, man. You mm -hmm. got you gotta you gotta um you gotta fear the Lord, man. You gotta show that you fear the Lord through your actions, man. Yeah, faith you know? without works is dead. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, man. You know you don't you don't look to the Lord for help. You look for the for the, for the um the modern day Egyptians, the so called white man for help. Okay, but once the Most High destroys him and his power, all right. The scriptures say what? You're going to call upon the Lord, but he's not going to answer. You know? Yeah. So that was it. All right, cool. So, yeah, that, you know, that's it. You know, just quick, you know, quick road lesson, you know, on our way to camp, spiritual talk and topics to keep us in the spirit, put us in the spirit. You know, a little bonus is quick, edifying, straight to the point, you know? So, until next time, we're going to say shalom to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.